we have a mystery package here. I wonder what has arrived for me. We shall do an unboxing, unwrapping, and a brief look at what this is. So, keep yourselves tuned in, watching HD, because you are watching Florence Ballad A3060, the channel made in honor of the original Supreme Florence Ballad, the Shirelles and Hoover's first 1100 RPM automatic, the A3060 electronic 1100. videos coming up guys let's have a look what we've got to do a nice box here it's not a conve convection oven in there, a halogen oven that's just what the seller is the seller is used um, as a method of packing so let's have a look I, I know what it is and you know obviously the titles obviously there but the toy washing machine. Brand new in the box. Oh. I have one of these as a kid. Um, but <coughs> it's made by Nico from America. Um, <coughs> in the box, it's an 80s toy. As you can see here, you've got the washing machine here, and you've even got some toy detergent, battery. Uh, washing basket and some washing powder. That's supposed to be a conditioner actually, I think that is. Um, it looks like it's from the 80s, I think. Um, but actually it's funny, Brentford Middlesex. Nico America, yeah, that's funny. Um, but yeah, that, that's just what it is. I had one by a company called Triang, was who made it. Um, and it basically, it goes pretty fast, it's got rubber suction cups at the bottom as you can see. Let's have a closer look then. So here you go. Here's the machine here. God, as a, ch as a kid these look really massive. Fab, that's their detergent. Actually fab, that's written the same as the ice cream. It is. Got some conditioner toy there and a washing basket. The machine's an orange colour, although well, I reckon that's been discoloured. It's made by Mighty, well it's called the Mighty Washer by Nico America. Let's get this box off. And get a little thought of this thing. And we'll see that. Look at that. Okay. Let's have a look at the little accessories first. Got we've got a hanger. We've got two hangers there. If you're unmentionable, so you've got a washing basket. Some fab uh, empty play box. Super con it's even got the super concentrated and uh, on there and enzyme information. It's like a little box of washing powder. And look, is that meant to be liquid? Empty play bottle, AXG. I've no idea what that is, but look, it even pops off. Let's see if it smells of anything. <laughs> but look at that, you've got a nice little setup. Now let's have a look at the washing machine. A bit squeaky. Now I had this one in a god. Uh, the one I had was see look, they always have a notorious thing of these breaking. That's definitely miscut. Uh, just colored. That's what the interlock there. I don't know if it's got any batteries in it. I doubt it. No, we'll have to get some batteries for this. Um, 
I'll probably head up to the shop in a bit and get, and I'll continue the video. But a brief overview of the machine before I get anything in there. So you got a door. That door is very reminiscent of a Hot Point 95 series, actually, in a way, of like the 9530. Um, the one I had was green, and it had it's got rubber suction, like little suction cups it sits on. If you have a look at the controls, you have this would be your timer. Uh, this one's got an actual ticking timer, which is good because the one I had, I had a version that didn't have that at all. Is your on and off? That's notorious for going bad. Like yeah, it comes out of shape and it doesn't connect properly. And then you have your speed setting. You have wash for your slow spin and dry for your fast spin. Um, I remember this model was actually able to go quite fast because it has the timer on it. There's one you can get where you just turn that and that's it and it'll just go like that. But that's like a, it's like a twin tub washing machine. See? So it just ticks around. And that'll tick off when your washing's done. Right, I'll head out to the shop and go and get some batteries. I like that clockwork sound. Um, I've also had a red one. I think this was actually the red one, probably. This might have been. But yeah, I'm excited to get this working. It doesn't work with water. You just get that and a drum that spins around, but we'll see what happens. Two batteries here. I can also get my other Miele toy powered up as well. See, no screwdrivers needed or anything. Ready? Fucking hell. Proper shakes as well. See? Got on dry. It's like a 9.5 series watch. Sounds like one's spinning as well. Watch this, turbo. Oh, hell. That's like about, that's like 1100 RPM that's doing. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll give this a test on a nice firm surface and uh, we'll see what happens. So here she is in the kitchen. Look, and that's funny, look, there's my kind of toy, and there's this. Okay, so we've got some glasses, um, lens wipes to do. Put in there for a spin. Just load them up. So of course the machine doesn't work with water. A bit like a hot point liberator with that kind of dial. Uh, I can't put that there. So I've got the... Well, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no powder compartment here, so we'll just put some in the drum. And we'll add conditioner. Let's put it in the top where we probably think it'd go here. It's more like an American type machine, really. This is okay. I'll probably all fall off. I don't know. So, we'll set the machine for nine minutes. And we'll do wash. Nine. If you open the door, it automatically cuts off, it's got a safety feature. Let's do that one more. The actual mechanical timer, I love that. Up. 
That's what it's a drop. Oh, not yet. We're just going to do a walk. Get a, we'll get a fast spin going on this thing. So we do we select dry. As you can see I'm just trying to get a good camera angle. So it's turned out to dry now. So like who are a 3060s half spin? Set the timer first and on. Look at that. It's gonna vibrate. That probably means your clothes are dry. I'll do that one last time. That's an awesome spin that is. I'm going to get a side view so we can try and see exactly how fast this thing's going. I don't even remember. I don't even mem remember it being that fast when I um, used it. I'm gonna put the coin in the fabric, so we'll see a bit of an unbalance. Just see how it ends. That. Put it on wash first. Got to I'm going to unload that now. It makes a nice sound though, the motor. So I, I know what they mean by saying that it has realistic motor sounds. Oh, she left a coin in their pocket. Money laundering. It's clean and dried. So this is a mighty washer. Um, nothing on the back about who makes it, but we know it's it's um, was it Nico American. So what we'll do with this lot, as I said, look, we've got two two hangers that come with the with the stuff. We'll hang it up. We'll hang dry. We don't, that's all we do in this house. We don't have a dryer, as you know, so we hang dry. Got to get the Miele toy one working soon as well. Miele Novatronic. So we'll hang that there. Look at that. All hung up to dry. <laughs> So yeah, it was a little bit of a fun video to do the toy washing machine. I've, it's been ages since I've um, done any kind of video of a toy washer, so it was actually quite fun to do that. Um, I'll try and get the Miele one up and running at some point. Um, just need to put some new batteries in, she'll be fine to go. And I'll do some washing with that, wet washing in water, and yeah, we'll see what happens. So, hope you enjoyed that guys. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.